absolutely delighted now to be joined by Manuel Abacassis, who is the EBMT 2018 uh, president. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Thank you very much indeed for uh, joining us this morning. Uh, it's my pleasure. Now, 2018, the meeting is going to be in uh, Lisbon. Lisbon. How important is it to Lisbon and Portugal to have the meeting there? Well, it's very important, you know, because Bulma Transportation was implemented in Portugal about 30 years ago, and still it hasn't grown that much. We have six transplant teams for the, the entire country, and this will bring the attention of uh, the scientific community to Bulma Transplantation, and we hope that uh, more people adhere to our cause and will help us bring, uh, grow up, basically. But it's already well established in Portugal, isn't it? It is. I mean, it's, it's 30 years ago now. It's 30 years ago and it's still going strong. We are doing about 600 transplants a year. That, uh, that's, that's quite a lot for, for six centres. And uh, of course, we need to grow even more to, to get to the average European level, you know. But it's, uh, it's an exciting field to work in. It's an exciting field to work in, of course it is. We can see that here this year in uh, Marseille. What do you think some of the issues are going to be you're going to want to discuss in Lisbon next yes. year? Yes, well, we, we, there's so many things we would like to talk about, but we have to select our topics, of course. And I think uh, the four main points will be uh, graphosis disease, how to use biomarkers to, 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 to an early diagnosis of the condition and to monitor treatment. Uh, second point will be always very relevant, that's relapse. How to deal with relapse, because we have so many things at our disposal nowadays. We have DLIs, we have TKIs, we have checkpoint inhibitors, we have hypermutilating and so on. So how to use, in, for each particular patient, what is the best way to approach the relapse? And that has a lot to be learned and worked out. And uh, the, the third point would be, would be really, uh, now in our days, everybody seems to have a donor. We can go to an apple identical transplant or to a cord blood transplant. So this is really a, a way of, of dealing with this donor problem. And do we really have a donor for everyone? That's an open question. And I think it's a fascinating question to answer. And finally, the, the final topic we'd like to approach is, uh, seeing, is looking at transplant as part of a, a sequential therapeutic program where we integrate transplant with other modalities right. of cell therapy and innovative chemotherapy approaches. So these are the, the, the main four topics that we'd like to, to, uh, to approach in Lisbon. Final question is going to be, a lot of people here this year, I think we've got about 5,000 attendees, they're all going to be watching, listening to you now. Why should they come to Portugal next year? Well, they should come because we are expecting to bring them the, the most relevant news in the field, uh, working closely with the BMT Scientific Council, and uh, we're putting up a, a joint IBN Scientific Committee as well, so that will give us uh, the opportunity to bring the more relevant news and, uh, and, and also of course Lisbon is a fascinating city to go to. I mean you have plenty of sunshine even during the winter, you have very rich local gastronomy, Portuguese wines are getting oh, fantastic, yeah. <laughs> better known now and we have, we have a vibrating nightlife as well. So there are all, 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 all sorts of things that make Lisbon very attractive. Well, we're not going to miss it. And thank you very much indeed thank for joining you. us. It was my really pleasure. My it. pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.